Welcome to Real Reviews, I'm Chase Lee, and from the Dallas International Film Festival, I have another selection for you guys. It's my first documentary of the festival, and it is No No, a documentary. And documentary is spelled D-O-C-K-U-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. It's directed by Jeffrey Raddus, and the reason why uh, documentary is spelled that way, with D-O-C-K, is because this is the subject of Doc Ellis, and how he pitched a no-hitter on LSD in the 70s uh, when he was the pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I, I thought, when I heard this synopsis, I thought it was the most interesting story because I like baseball a lot. And I, I played it a lot as a kid, and the story just fascinated me on all levels because I'm just like, I'm expecting this crazy story about this guy that was on LSD and pitched no-hitter. Like, ah, but it, what I got was more in return than I asked for because when I walked away from this movie, I felt like this was more of a story of the rise and fall of Doc Ellis and how he hit so rock bottom that he decided to redeem himself and he wanted that redemption for his life so he can continue to live a little longer and he turned it around and he went to rehab and he uh, was a motivational speaker for kids that were in jail and stuff on the use of drugs and alcohol and stuff and it, it, his character was so deeply layered it was incredible. Because it was like some, it was like watching something you would see on just a normal movie. Like, oh, like someone wrote that character. That's uh, he was deeply layered. No, no, this is a real guy, and it, he had so much beneath him uh, than what was shown on the surface from the original synopsis of the documentary. So I gotta tell you, like, this was a very well made documentary. Um, just like I said, the synopsis alone, pitching a no hitter on LSD in the seventies. Sounds pretty awesome, but then, like I said, when you get into it, it really is like the life story of Doc Al Doc Ellis, and you know, like I said, the rise and fall of him, how he redeemed himself, and unfortunately, he passed away at the age of 63 uh, in 2008. Yeah, 2008 uh, due to liver disease, and I'll guarantee that was because of the heavy drinking that he did. But overall, I thought uh, the directing wise, the tone wise, of what I just told you, it was fantastic. It just you start. Uh, with the opening of the the game of him <laughs> pitching on LSD, and then you ended with you know his final words of the documentary before you know we realize that he passes, and it's just a very emotional. It's funny. It's funny uh, at some parts. <laughs> some of his friends that were interviewed were very uh, likable, and they were very funny. Like I said, it was touching. It was deep. There was some deep emotional stuff going on. It just it was. It, it took your emotions on this roller coaster, and I was not expecting that because, like I said, the synopsis you see it because you're interested in that, but you get, like I said, you get a whole lot more return in the human aspect of the story, and that's deeply gratifying on all levels. So, the directing on this is fantastic. Um, documentaries are tough because you can't really judge the acting unless it was there were re reenactments and there weren't. Um, cinematography, it's a documentary. I'm, basically, what you can judge on is the directing and the editing. And uh, like I said, the directing, what I just told you, awesome, uh, very well done on the human scope of things and human emotions, um, and just what drugs and alcohol can do to someone, and how you can change your life around uh, just with admitting to yourself that you need help. Uh, the editing, I think it's uh, hour 40, hour 45, I thought, I thought it was paced pretty well. Uh, there was a couple of parts where it slowed down. In the middle for me, but it picked up right, right up again. Um, I forgot when the certain part hit, but when it hit, I was like, "All right, I'm back in the zone." But uh, yeah, overall, I thought it was paced very, very well. And this is a very good documentary. If you can find this anywhere, uh, the director was there, and he said it was probably going to be released on video on demand or iTunes, probably in the fall or something. They want to try to get a limited release uh, theatrically or Netflix or you know all that jazz. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give this a strong 8 out of 10. I think it's a very good documentary. I think most likely this will be on Netflix or iTunes. And if you if you see it on Netflix one day, no, no, a documentary, please watch it. I recommend it. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Um, if, it goes into, if it goes into theaters, they're probably very limited and you probably won't find it. So just most likely search it for on demand or Netflix or, in this, or something in the future. So... That was a fantastic film and one of my favorite films of Dallas International Film Festival so far. So, have you heard of No No Documentary? Or if you actually have seen it, comment in the place to rub on my face and let me know. 
And as always, thanks for watching my reviews. I'm Chase Lee, and tune in next time for whatever I review next. See you guys later.